Oh, <laughs> hey everybody. Uh, hey, it's uh, well, stem with Mr. C. Sorry, I'm just really into this video of uh, these water bugs or water striders uh, walking across the water. Man, that's so cool. You, you, I don't know if you've seen this before. You maybe seen a video of it, but it's really cool to see them up close. Um, and man, look at that. You can see the indentations, little dents in the water. Man, that's so cool. Uh, and there's a couple things going on here. And I don't know if you've ever tried to walk on water. Um, it doesn't end up so well. You end up getting a, really wet. Um, but man, that's super cool. Okay, let's, let's talk about that. Cool. Enough watching water bugs. Um, hey, so stem with Mr. C. Um, I call this experiment paper clips on water. Right. Yeah, I know. It's not very, very not very catchy. Uh, but it, yeah, simple. Boom to the point. You know what we're doing. Um, and so we're gonna put paper clips on water and we're gonna see what happens, right? And so we've done a lot of experiments on density, right? We've done our, uh, the sugar density, we've done the six layer density experiment, we even did the hot and cold water density experiment. Um, and I do have another one coming up at some point, we'll do some drinkable density, a lot of fun. Um, but this has nothing to do with really density, right? This has to do with what I like to call and what, well, everyone calls surface tension, right? Now oh, let's put it under surface tension, boom, okay. Um, and we're gonna explain what's going on here, um, but we are gonna get paper clips to float on water. Get out I know, of town. I know, a lot of people say it can't be done, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it here on STEM with Mr. C. All right, let's talk about our materials first. Um, you're gonna need a paper clip, right? Um, maybe get a couple of them, right? So I've got a metal paper clip here. Um, I've got a metal one that's uh, coated in like plastic. I've got a ginormous one here. So I've got three different ones, uh, whatever you want. Um, you're gonna need some tissue paper. Uh, you can, you, toilet paper's fine. Any sort of like thin paper like this. Uh, you don't need this much, I just, to show you, right? Um, you're gonna need a pencil with an eraser. Um, and it does help um, to do this, to have some water. And so I have over here, I'm not gonna show you just yet, but it's a Tupperware, large Tupperware filled with water, right? Um, really easy experiment, it's all we need. Um, and we're gonna discuss surface tension. So hey, you know how it works here on Stamp with Mr. C. We do the experiment, or I tell you the materials, we do the experiment, and then we talk about the science. All right, so if you guys have all your materials, uh, let's go ahead and get floating. <laughs> all right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages, thanks for coming back here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get paper clips to float on water, right? Um, we call this you know, service tension. Um, and this is where density, it, I said it doesn't matter, but here, I'm gonna do a little something. So first of all, let's just see if we can get paper clips to float on water, right? So let's go ahead and take um, my ginormous one. And let's see, I'm gonna be real careful here. You can try this with me. Be real careful. And come on, and... Ugh, I had it there, did you see that? Gosh, I had it, man. All right, here we go, let's try it again. Let's try, the, try this one, and... Well, that... That doesn't happen. Wow, uh, <laughs> that's the, that's literally the first time that's ever happened. Um, I've usually have to go through a lot of stuff to make that happen. <gasps> anyway, if you get that to work the first time, fantastic. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. Man, New Year's is full of surprises. We'll try this, this one, that one doesn't work. And then we'll try this one. Nope, those are all heavy. And I could even, yeah, see, there you go. Okay. Wow, that was cool. Very unexpected. So clearly, um, the paper clips are more dense than the water, right? That's why they sink, right? We do this thing, sink or float, you know? Um, will the tissue sink or float, right? Well, it's gonna float because it's less dense than water. Okay, cool, let's get that out of there. Man, I'm still kind of shocked by that. All right, so I'm gonna dig these out of there. And what we're gonna do so we've just proved that uh, paper clips are more dense than the water. So how are we gonna get them to float? Ignoring my little 
paper clip here that decided to just do its own thing and float on its own. Super cool though. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna go get these. All right, first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to get our tissue. So just go ahead and cut or just rip off a small piece of tissue. It really does not need to be that big, right? Okay, so now place your tissue in the center, just like that. You see my tissue rolling around there. Now this is up to you if you wanna do this, right? Sometimes I like to spread out my paper clip. Um, it helps, you don't have to do it though. So I'm gonna leave it just like this and then just go ahead and place it on the tissue. Now obviously, yes, that's cheating. Um, I understand that. So what we're gonna do though, this is the trick. You take your eraser and just start trying, and you gotta be gentle, right? You can't be like the Hulk and start jabbing at it. And just start getting it wet, more wet, more wet, right? Until you can grab it. Nope. So that's gonna happen, right? That will happen sometimes. That's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and spread out my paper clip. <laughs> Not like that. Oh my gosh, Mr. C, you're full of like, you're like all thumbs today. Except for the time that you made the paper clip float the first time. Pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna take another slip of paper here. Here we go, here we go. I'm gonna put it there. Now, sometimes you're gonna uh, read that you know, the center can't get wet. Um, it's gotta be dry. It's not necessarily the case. It definitely helps, right? So that didn't work. I'm gonna spread it out a little bit and let's see if I can get this to work. Okay, and just carefully, you're gonna, you're gonna pull the tissue away. Just like that. Gently though, right? Nice and gently. So what happened when I did it too rough. Just like that. And get that center wet. There we go. And then stay on target. We're too close. Stay on target. Voila! The cooling paper clip. <laughs> Look at that. Super cool. All right, let's see if I can get the other one. All right, see how many I can get on here. Um, and so we're gonna talk about what's happening here besides magic. Uh, remember, it's not magic, it's science. Um, let's go ahead and get my other. Here we go. And actually that's gonna be too small because I'm gonna use my ginormous paper clip. Let's see if we can get that dude to float because that will be cool, All right? So I'm gonna take a big piece of tissue paper, just like that. Now I'm gonna spread out my paper clip. I like to do that, right? You can get it, you, it'll work without it, right? You don't need to. Um, I like to do it because I think it helps, okay? It's basically you're spreading um, the area over a wider, you're spreading the paper clip over a wider area. So let's see if we can get this to work. And if it doesn't work, eh. I mean, I've gotten it to work. There you go, and use gently, right? So this is, this is gonna take some patience, right? What's really cool is that red one is still floating and I'm gonna zoom in and you can really see the indentation in the water, but we're basically making kind of our own water bugs here. And ha ha ha, look at that, another floating, and that's the big one too, that one's the heaviest and I still got that to float. Woo, look at that. All right, let's go. Let's do one more. Come on, let's do one more. Come on, Mr. C. You're feeling good. It's Monday, it's a new year, new you. Oh, I'm feeling good. Look at this. Oh man, this is really, I love doing this one. Um, and like I said, I've done this a few times. I've never, I think I've ever had it just like float for me the first time. So that didn't work, right? And there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, probably because paper towel was too wet, any number of things. So again, I like to, here we go. One more time, get that right there. Oh look, and they're attracted to each other. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about why they're stuck together and that has to do with surface tension. All right, here we go. Can we get three? Yes, we can. 
We can. We already got the big one. This one's easy. And I got this one to float without doing anything. Okay, so I'm not, it's not necessary. I've had it happen once before. I was a few years ago. It was like, it was in Stuttgart. I did it once. I think I was just playing around and I got to work. So just like that. So nice and easy, right? So if you, again, jab it. Ah, oh, see, I can't get that one right now. But that's okay because what I'm going to do is we're going to show, I want to show you this. We're going to get a nice close up view of what this looks like. I'm super happy I got this one. Now look at that. I want you to notice the water. Do you notice the water is bending? Right, you got little indentations in here. Let's see if we can get a nice view. Uh, it's not, that's not very good. And I can even blow on it. And look at that. Super cool. You guys see, I don't know if you can, hopefully this comes through, right? On my preview, uh, there we go. So you got the light right there. Look at that bending. Man, that's super cool, right? And they're just floating around, right? And I can blow on it. And it's not really gonna do anything, but the minute I touch here and here, it sinks, right? So there you go, right? So we're gonna talk about, man, that's so cool. I love doing that. All right, hey, let, that's a quick lab. Um, but let's talk about what's going on here and why on earth can we get paper clips to float on water? Don't go anywhere. I gotta get all my stuff, clean up all this water. Look at all this mess I made. My goodness, Mr. C, look at this. Water and tissues everywhere, my goodness. All right, let me get this cleaned up um, and then I'll join you back in the studio and then we'll talk about what is going on here with paper clips on water. All right, everybody. Uh, wow, <laughs> super cool, right? I love looking at that um, just because it's one of those things. Like, remember when you mix the, the hot and the cold water, right? And the hot water just sat on top of the cold water, right? It's one of those things that I've done, you know, a lot of times. And it's still, you look at it, you're like, man, that's super cool. Wow, super cool. I'm just looking at it right now. Anyway. Um, so what's going on here, right? So we talked about surface tension, right? Well, water, like, let me let me even go back further, right? Um, we've discussed that oil and water don't mix, okay? Um, for one, because water is a polar molecule, right? It has a attraction, right? Um, it has a charge, right? Because water is two hydrogens and one oxygen. There you go, there's water, H2O. That's high quality H2O, right? Um, two hydrogens, one oxygen. Well, what's cool about water, cool about water, <laughs> um, what's really cool about it is it has a very high surface tension. Now, what does surface tension mean, right? Um, let's define it again, surface tension, right? All of those water molecules, the hydrogen and the oxygen, right, the H2O, um, again, it's not just one of those things, it's like millions of them, right? and they all have, they're all attracted to each other. So you have this charge uh, within the hydrogen molecules and that charge is spread throughout the top of the water, well, throughout the water, but mostly the top. And so what happens is these molecules, these water molecules, um, it's called cohesion, right? And it, it's, they're really, really strong, relatively strong, right? Again, can't support us, um, but light things or things that you spread the area out over a large distance, over a large uh, surface area of the water um, will float. Um, so it's super cool, right? Um, so what we're doing is with the tissue paper, we're trapping a little bit of air, a little bit um, within the paper clip in the metal. And that's exactly the same thing that water striders do, right? So if you look at a good close up view, good, uh, do a close-up view of a water strider's legs, right? So you see all those little hairs on there. So what's happening is, one, um, the bug is fairly light, okay? Um, and two, the legs um, are thin, but then they have these little hairs that spread that weight out over a larger distance, right? A larger surface area. And it also traps um, a little bit of air in there, which is important. So that allows it not only to stand on the water, but also do, 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 walk across the water, which is really cool. Um, so we're doing the same thing with our paper clips, right? Uh, now a paper clip 
um, is probably a little bit heavier, especially my big one. Let me get that out of here. Um, probably a little heavier, um, definitely more dense um, than a water bug. But we can still get it to float using the same principles that the water strider does, right? Using surface tension, water cohesion, um, and then trapping a little bit of air in there thanks to our friend, um, the tissue. Um, really cool, and we can make paper clips float on water, right? Really cool way to introduce surface tension. Um, now, I'm not gonna tell you um, exactly what would happen, but I want you to try this, and here's your challenge, right? Um, hey, if you get this to work, hey, that's a challenge in itself, right? Because it does take a little bit of patience getting that tissue just to go down perfectly. Um, and you saw it fail a couple times, right? It happens. And you're just like, ah, okay. And then you just try again, right? Um, it's something either you're pushing too hard or it's not right, because it is, again, paper clips are more dense than water. It's kind of cool we're getting it to float on water. Um, so here's a challenge, right? Can you do this with any other liquids? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I do know, but um, I'm not gonna tell you, but can you do this with, say, oil? Hmm, what about rubbing alcohol? Uh, what about salt water? Pretty cool. I wonder what would happen. What would happen if we did regular water and we added some, uh, I don't know, some dish soap to it? What do you think would happen? Okay, so if you have an idea, I'm not going to tell you what will happen, right? That's your challenge, right? Hey, this is STEM with Mr. C, right? I'm not going to give you all the answers, right? I'm going to tell you, here's how the math works. Here's how the science works. Here's how the technology works. Here's the STEM, whatever, how it works. And here's your challenge to take it further and tell me what you think, okay? So, a lot of fun. I love doing that, I can do that all day. Um, but I gotta get to my next video for you guys. Um, but hey, I hope you enjoyed this because it's a really, really cool experiment. Really easy, um, but it's really cool to see. So hey, uh, you know the drill. Seesaw, take a picture, take a video, or type in what you learned, or if you learned a new word, um, my folks on Google Classroom, um, again, you can either take a picture, take a video, or you know what, just send an exit ticket. Go into Google Forms, type in the exit ticket, tell me what you learned, and even tell me if you did one of the extensions, right? Did you try oil? Did you try salt water? Did you try rubbing alcohol? Whatever. Okay, my time is up. Um, I hope you all had a fantastic time doing paper clips on water. I need to come up with a better name. I don't know, maybe, maybe next year. Okay, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time with more STEM with me. See you guys.